Welcome back students. Today we are going to see the continuation of string functions. Before seeing this, let us know the index number of a string. Each character in a string will have its index number. So here I have given exhibition. E is having 0 as index number. So always the index number starts with 0 and then it will keep on continuing until the last character. So here last character we have 9 as the index number. If we see the length of this is going to be 10. So the last index of the character is going to be 1 lesser than the total length of the string. So we can say index of last character is equal to length of string minus 1. In case if we see the position of the character it is going to be 1 more than the index number. So that is for example if we take this b here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the fifth character in the string but it will have 4 as index. So if we wanted to know the position what we do we can add 1 with the index. So position of the character is equal to index of the character plus 1. Here we have index of. So it is going to give the index of the particular character. Output will be integer type. For example, I have application dot index of p. So it is going to give the index of p. So that is the first occurrence of p it is going to be displayed. So it will be 1. So that is 0 and then 1. Next we have last index of. So here again the index is going to be integer data type then same application we say application dot last index of p here the last occurrence of p is going to be taken so it is going to be this p so that is 0 1 2 so 2 is going to be the output next we are having character at so we will give the index number output is going to be character type so for example i have computer dot character at 6. So the index which we are going to give is inside the bracket here. So it will take the character at index 6. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So E is going to be the output. Next we have ends with. So it is going to check whether the string ends with the particular string. So output data type is going to be true or false. So that is boolean. So phone dot ends with o. So it is going to be false. Next I have starts with. So again it is going to say whether it is true or not. So again boolean data type. Cell dot starts with c which is given inside the quotation here. So it is true. c is right one. So next we are having equals. This will check whether given strings two strings are equal or not and then give the output as true or false so again it is going to be boolean data type so here we give first string here dot equals of the second string inside the bracket so it is false because pen is not equal to capital pen here next we have equals ignore case of it is going to check whether both the strings given are equal or not by ignoring the case whether it is in upper case or lower case it is going to ignore so it is boolean type again pen dot equals ignore case of pen so both are equally if you ignore the case so it is going to be true we have few more functions we will see that in the next class let us know how to run all these using a program. I will create the class. I will copy the codes from the previous one. Let me copy all these codes. Then change the name of the class. Instead of number, we are going to have a 
string enter a string so string str is equal to br dot read line of we are going to get the index of a letter so we need integer variable int i is equal to so here string variable str dot index of so let us give just letter o let us print this let us close the method close the class compile this no syntax error let us run this so i say here book so index of o that is first occurrence of o so it is going to be 1 0 and 1 let us check the last index so let us copy again the same code then modify this i am going to have here last index so last index of o so let me change here last index last index of letter o it is going to be let it be last index and then we are going to print also last index I will give computer application. So you can see index of O is 1 from the beginning. The last index of O is 18. Now let us delete all these. We will see character function. For that we need character data type output. So character C is equal to str dot character at maybe just I am giving 6 so it is going to give the character at index 6 let us print this I give book shelf. So character at index six is E. Next we will see starts with and ends with. So for that we need Boolean data type. So we will change here Boolean for starts with yes I give yes is equal to str dot starts w is in capital with so we are giving here inside the double quotation so i just give here a and then boolean ends with str dot ends let me give r so let me change this yes and then same we will just copy here whether ends with then whether it is with r then this is e compile this I say number so whether starts with a false whether ends with r it is true 
here not only a single character we can give a word also or a string we can give if the same string occurs then it will say whether it starts whether it ends for example let me give here function here i give java so let us change here also and here java compile this i give string function so you can see starts with function false but ends with java it is true next we are going to learn equals and equals ignore case of so i will copy this again let me have here another string so here str1 now i have taken two string type let me check boolean check is equal to str dot equals of i'm giving here str1 the next boolean checks ignoring case str dot ignore case of that is str1 so now it is going to check whether str1 whatever we have given whether it is equal to the next string which is given by the user same like that after ignoring the case it is going to check let us print the result So let me copy this and change for ignore case whether both the strings are equal that is check i c is the no syntax error enter the string pencil another string pen in small then c c i l in capital so whether both the strings are equal false whether both the strings are equal after ignoring the case it is true so it ignored whether capital r in small let us continue the same function in next video also Thank you students.